right, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a blog here. I've been seeing a lot of things about this young lady named Amanda Todd on Facebook. And at first I didn't even know if it was a real story or just somebody trying to get hit or this or that. And after just doing some research and talking to one of my friends who said it was real, and then I started looking it up and I watched the video. I watched about three or four different videos. Even watched a couple things on the news about this poor young lady and man it just it breaks my heart that anyone would ever have to feel that alone and I kind of get it because I have felt like that before uh, there was a time in my life when I used to cut myself just because I didn't know how to deal with the stress of just living uh, there was so much going on in my head for everything that had happened when I was younger and things the way I felt some people treated me and I've always been kind of bullied in my life especially when I was younger because I was a big person um, so I get the bullying now I was a but because I was a big guy I also didn't take I didn't put up with the crap so I would fight back and I I started standing up for other people who were bullied and you know, I've done that as young as middle school. I have stood up for the bullies. I don't tolerate bullying at all. I don't understand people who are like, oh, just it's just kids being kids. No, it's not, okay? It's not. It's gotten way more, way worse. I mean, when, when I was a kid, you know, it'd be the bully and you. You'd go out, you'd fight, and then there'd be kind of a respect, or they'd do it a little more if you didn't stand up for yourself. But it, it is nowhere near the point it is today. And it, it's just horrible. I mean, this poor girl felt so alone and no one was there for her. And they just, man, people are just mean and cruel. Uh, I, I wish I'd known her before she died because I'd have talked to her. I mean, anybody out there, if you ever feel like you feel the need to kill yourself, I, please call me call somebody there are suicide hotlines uh, there is people at church uh, if you don't have friends because of everything that's going on then then by all means call someone at a hotline call me call somebody just call and talk to somebody and I hope I hope they help you uh, you know tell your psychologist but one thing you got to understand in life is there is absolutely nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. You are perfect the way you are. You know, uh, man, I just, I'm so frustrated watching the videos that I'm almost at a loss for words because I just, I envision what she was going through in her head, how alone she felt, how miserable she felt how isolated and alone and terrified and scared and meanwhile you got these people over here who are beating her up and saying I hope you die and I wish you die and maybe next time she'll I don't understand how kids can be that mean I don't know if their parents failed them in life or society has failed these other kids in life or just I, I don't know what's going on. You know, there's too many bullies out there. And it's getting beyond control. I seen a video the other day of some kids that beat a kid so bad he had to have stitches in his head on a bus. I mean, that's just uncalled for, man. My heart breaks for this Amanda Todd girl, even though she's already dead. I wish to God there was some way that I'd have known this girl before I wish I would have known her because I'd have been her friend. I don't care what she's done in her past. I don't care what you've done in your past. I, I don't care what I've done in my past. Everybody has done something they wish they hadn't done in their life. And I wish someone could have just explained to her and got her to understand, hey, it's life. It moves on. Embrace it. You know what? Uh, I haven't actually seen a good picture of her, what she looks like, but... You know, she's, she's probably just a normal teenage girl and who just, and unfortunately, there's probably, she's probably a very cute girl. 
and she just thinks she's not because people have told her she's not. You know, that's that's one thing I, ne- I never understood. You know, I mean, I get it because I think I'm hideous, but I really feel I am hideous because I'm fat, which is you know I'm you know I'm working on that. But one thing I have kind of learned is, man, you gotta just put them people out of your mind. <clears throat> but again, if you're watching this and you're somebody like Amanda Todd, if you're someone who thinks there's nowhere to go, who thinks there's no one to talk to, and that you have no other options, trust me, there are options. There is always an option. There are people to call, places to go. Call me. If you live near me, come talk to me. I will make time. Okay? This breaks my heart. Oh, I'm so over all the violence and evil in this place. I wish there was something I could do. And unfortunately, the only thing I can do is this. I can offer to be a friend. I can offer to be your friend. I can offer to listen. Because sometimes there is nothing better than just getting everything out of your system. I know it helped me. It, it helped me tremendously. Like I said, I was violent. With myself, I would cut myself. Uh, I treated myself like crap. I berated myself. I told myself there was no point in living. Uh, I wouldn't take medicines that I needed to take to be healthy because I, be honest, I wanted to die because I thought I had no choices. And then, luckily, I met one person who changed my outlook on life, who helped me tremendously. And then that led to this, which led to this, which led to that. And now, I have a whole new whole new outlook on life. So please, I beg you, before you do anything rash or stupid or undoable, contact somebody. Contact me. Contact uh, someone at your church. If you don't go to church, just go to a church and talk to someone. I mean, they'll listen. You know? Go to a school counselor. Call me. Call a friend. Call an aunt. Call an uncle. Call a cousin. Call somebody. Just please. Don't feel like there's no options and there's nowhere to go. Because there are people who truly care in this world. And I am one of them. So, again, uh, uh, it's, it's just so heartbreaking.